So let us now look at the monopsony numerical. So this is in continuation of the class which we took yesterday in which we have derived this mathematical condition for the monopsony equilibrium, right? So let's do a simple numerical based on this. So consider a coal company that is the only employer in the town. So he is the only buyer of the labor services uh, in the town. And Q is equal to 100 log L is the production function which is given to you. And this coal mine is facing an internationally, uh, com internationally perfectly competitive price, P is equal to $8, right? So that is a price at which they will be selling coal. They cannot influence that output price. Supply curve for labor is WL equals to three plus half L. Now you guys know this very well that uh, the profit of uh, the monopsonist is going to be what? P into Q minus WL into L. That is what it is. Minus WL into L. Because your wage rate is also dependent upon it. P is $8. Q is what? 100 log L minus WL into L. That is 3 plus half L into L. So that is 800 log L minus 3L minus L square upon 2. So this entire thing has been uh, transformed in terms of L. So you can find out what level of L is going to maximize the profit for the monopsonist. It is 800 upon L minus 3 minus uh, 2L by 2. Right? Minus 2L by 2. So it is what? Into zero that is uh, 800 upon L equals to 3 plus L. 800 plus L is equal to 3 plus L. And once you saw this, is this guy is nothing but what your MRPL is. You just MRPL. Right? Your MRPL. Which we have done. And this is your marginal expenditure of labor. Hmm? Marginal expenditure of labor. So you can just draw this. Mm -hmm. So you have what? You have uh, uh, this guy here. Wages here. You have uh, labor here. Right? And you have 800 upon L is the marginal revenue. So this is what the MRPL is going to look like. MRPL is equal to 800 upon L. Yeah, MRPL tha beta. And this is uh, 3 plus L. So if L is 0, W is 3. So on this guy becomes 3 plus L. Take it. This is your marginal expenditure of labor, which is 3 plus L. And once you solve this, right, this is uh, going to be what? So 800 equals to 3L plus L square. So it becomes a quadratic function. L square plus 3L minus 800 equals to zero. So once you will solve the quadratic uh, of this, the positive, so once you will solve this, take up the positive root of L, which is uh, 26.82. Just ignore the negative root. And let's say L star is 26 because of 26.82 to ho nahi sakta. Right? 26.82 to hoga nahi. Okay. Achha, ek cheez aur how will you draw the supply curve for labor? This is the supply curve for labor. 3 plus uh, half of L. So when L is 0, WL is 3. Supply curve for labor. That is 3 plus half L. This is the WL. That is... Uh, because here... Uh, is coefficient that is half and here the coefficient is one. So this supply curve for labor is little uh, flatter as compared to the MEL curve, one thing. 
अच्छा वेयर द इक्विलिब्रियम इज गोइंग टू लाई इक्विलिब्रियम इज लाइंग वेयर एम आर पी एल इज इक्वल टू एम ई एल ठीक है वेयर एम आर पी एल इज इक्वल टू एम ई एल दिस पॉइंट ध्यान से देखेंगे दिस इज वॉट योर ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज बट यूल बी सब यू विल बी पेइंग वेजेस अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस ना यही वेजेस तो पे करोगे यहां थोड़ी चले जाओगे एम ई एल में यूल बी गोइंग हेयर राइट You will be paying according to the wages, which wage ka function is three plus half l, even in the even in monopsony. So you'll be paying according to that. So what is going to be that? Uh, so at l star is twenty six. Yeh hi important point hai. You will be in. You will be substituting this l equal to twenty six back into the wage function, back into the supply function to get the wages. एम ई एल में नहीं डालना है राइट दैट एम ई एल इक्वल टू एम आर पी एल इज गोइंग टू गिव यू द इक्विलिब्रियम कंडीशन फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट द ऑप्टिमल अमाउंट ऑफ लेबर द मूवमेंट यू हैव फाउंड आउट द ऑप्टिमल अमाउंट ऑफ लेबर यू विल बी सब्सिट्यूटिंग इट बैक इन टू द सप्लाई का फॉर लेबर दैट इज वॉट योर वेज फंक्शन एंड फ्रॉम देयर यू विल गेट द वेजेस सो वॉट इज डब्ल्यू गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस हाफ एल दैट इज थ्री प्लस हाफ एल की जगह ट्वेंटी सिक्स Right, so that is three plus thirteen. That is sixteen dollars. That is sixteen dollars. Okay, brother. That is sixteen dollars. So, ये तो आया for this guy, your uh, monopsony. So, in monopsony, what what you are doing? You can you are seeing that you are employing twenty six and you are paying the wages sixteen. Okay. In perfectly competitive market. competitive market right you will be equating this guy uh, the number of workers number of workers is determined by the point determined by the point where mrpl is equal to the supply curve for labor right uh, so mrpl kitna tha beta 800 upon l supply curve for labor kitna tha 3 plus half l theek hai na so kaise likhoge isko Eight hundred is equal to three L plus L square by two. So now you will be solving this quadratic equation. And when you solve this quadratic equation again, you will have two roots for L. Ignoring the negative root for L, you will be getting L is thirty seven point one one, right? Now thirty seven point one one का क्या मतलब है thirty seven So in perfect competition, how much of labor you will be employing? Thirty-seven. So one thing you are seeing. So when you are finding out for the perfectly competitive market, you are employing more labor. The perfectly competitive market ka equilibrium to yaha aega na? Here, and you will be paying more wages as compared to the monopsony. So at L equals to thirty-seven. What are the wages which you are going to pay? Three plus half into thirty-seven. Three plus half into thirty-seven, which is twenty-one point five. Right, which is twenty-one point five. Uh huh. Twenty-one point five. So compared to monopsony. Perfectly competitive market is employing more labor, and it is even giving higher wages, and it is even giving higher wages. So, and the monopsonist is taking advantage of its position in the market. So, it monopsonist knows that uh, these guys can't go anywhere; they will have to come back to him only. So, he is uh, using that, and he is employing even less labor, 
and he is giving them also less wages right so this is what i wanted to do in this class thank you beta